Hi, I'm your host, Slacker Life, and welcome to Slacker's Day Off. This is our podcast that we are now starting this week, I guess. What do you think about that, Hypersync? Today, today. Yeah. This is my co-host, Hypersync. Uh, In this podcast, we're just going to be talking about what is happening in 2020. What is happening Sports, news, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to interrupt you, but, you know, just an extra factual. Also, this is Drama as well. This is your trigger warning right now. If you're easily triggered, just leave. Please. I, I don't said want... leave. No. Yeah. We if you're it, a stupid you snowflake, you can Just you can hit leave. the backspace button and just, if you get triggered very easily. But if you want to get entertained, you can stay. You're allowed. You yeah, if you're okay with dark humor, you can stay. <laughs> okay, it's not going to be that dark. Um, you have to be good Christian boy, Aiden. Come on. No, I'm, I'm doing dark humor. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's get right into it then. This video is sponsored by Ba- The best energy drink out there. <laughs> Are we sponsored by- <laughs> No, you can't put false ads, bro. We're gonna get sued. They're gonna- No, no. They're gonna look at us, and they're gonna go, What are these idiots talking about? We didn't sponsor them. They're too idiotic. We can't have them- we Should I beef that out? saying that we sponsored I, them. I think I have to beef that out. No, no, I don't. That's funny. That's really No, funny. we have to beep out Ba- yeah, be about <laughs> but don't don't cut out the part. We just made that <laughs> harder for dummy. ourselves. It's fun. That's actually funny though. Try oh, to a be. Funny clip. Try to be good. All right. I'm so let's be good. start with the new boxing clips. Like, do you have yeah, the clips let's start, pulled up? Let's start with. Let's start with sports. That's my particular angle here. Uh, specific sports, not like the big ones like football. A lot about combat sports. I'm very into that. So I'm going to talk about boxing. Recently, huge congratulations to Tony Lopez. He won. He became the undisputed champion. Uh, very, very crazy fight. He, he, the judges say that he like crushed him and closed it out because it was like 11 19, 12 19, 16 19, or something point wise. So that means Tony Lopez basically had the edge the entire fight, which he did. But I think Loma had a big edge in the beginnings or in the middle of the fight towards the end because Lopez was dominating him in the first half. And then the second half, Loma did well, but the last round closed it out. I want to mention though, there was a headbutt in this fight. And I believe that is what caused Tony Lopez not to knock out Loma. Because at the end of the fight, Lopez was going ham and Loma's arms were just dropping. So I think Lopez would have been able to get the knockout, but the referee made them back up because their heads would hit again, which would open up a cut, which made the ref partially stop the fight, and then it would resume, but the momentum was all gone. So Lopez ended up winning the fight, but I think that I think they cost us a knockout uh, clip right there. But you Yeah, know. I'm just gonna roll a clip for the <laughs> So it turns out we got the name wrong. It was Lopez and what's his face? Um, yeah, Lamachek. I no, I can't say names. I'm dyslexic. Ah, uh, just roll the clips, please. We're just gonna roll the clip. Like I said, the uppercut would be a factor and could come into play. He used the left hook and the right hand. He had every tool needed possibly to beat Lomachenko, and he showed that tonight. I told you, Lomachenko, if he take the angles away from him, yeah. he becomes ordinary, yeah. and Lopez showed that tonight. All of that is easier said than done. You gotta go out there and do it, and yeah. Lopez did it. He showed everything you could possibly want from a champion, the boxing ability, the IQ, and and, and that 12th round, he bit down. That, yeah. That's old school type of stuff right there. I didn't think he was gonna do it like that. The undisputed lightweight champion of the world, the takeover, Teofimo Lopez. A star yes. is born tonight. Yeah. Something interesting fact: me and Slacker have boxed before. It was interesting. Yeah, it really was. It really was. Boxing, boxing slash MMA, because uh, there may or may not have been grabbing, punching, kicking. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, uh, where's this podcast being simple. posted? Uh, it's, it's gonna be posted like, like everywhere. Okay. So well, we're on YouTube right change. now. Yeah, I'm literally, literally <laughs> what just happened? So. Drop a like. I'm anyway, gonna leave a big like hole. Uh, hundred likes. Not gonna talk. I was gonna say. I can call me for. I know where you live. That's true. This podcast is real, guys. What the hell? I want. What the heck? Life. <laughs> I know where you live. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get into something else. Uh, I'm gonna talk about UFC real quick. I'm so, anyway, we're just gonna talk. 
about the news. I'm gonna talk about MMA real quick, boy. You alright, alright, alright. All right. All right. Big fights coming up. Thanks so okay. Th thanks for letting me speak, brother. Okay, uh, <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, uh, I heard. You. Okay. <laughs> Justin Gates versus Kahib Nurmagomedov. That fight is coming up. I apologize if I butchered his last name just now. That fight's coming up. Um, pulling for Gates. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pulling for Gates. I want to see him win. Pick up the win. So but that should be interesting. That's like the big MMA news. Brian Ortega just won a fight, but there's nothing really big about that. Ooh, yeah, that, fight, so. uh, that's, that's like the funny. big sports like clunk of the thing. So we're gonna get into Aiden. You gonna you gonna kick off the next segment? All right. So let's hop into about Black Ops Five or Black Ops Cold War. It's gonna be oh, a yeah, game. Wait, with... wait, wait. Gaming news. Wait, no. Now we get the gaming news. I want to make that. No, 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 no. I got it. That. You ready? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Now we get into gaming news. <laughs> oh, <Your wait>. voice. <laughs> <clears throat> now we get into <laughs> game. <laughs> you better leave all of that in. You better leave all of that in. Oh my god. You're, you ready? Just go to, just no, you know, I, I, I got this, I got this, I got this. You got it? Okay, sure. Okay, you ready? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> mm. Now, we go to Game News. Am I at the movie? How was that? How was that? <coughs> Game News. <coughs> this is worth it. All right, so today we're gonna talk about Black Ops Cold War. It's a very fun game. The beta came out for all consoles lately. Crossplay's been added, and it's very fun and entertaining just to go around with an M4 and shoot a little noobs. It's pretty fun. People are very toxic. Trash talking's finally back. But the game's all fun and all, except for PS4 players, because we have some news for I you. I have not been able to play it. Oh yeah, this, this is the big thing that's spread yeah. around. A lot of people are saying Xbox won the console war because of this specific fact, but I don't know. PS4 still has, I think, the edge in ratings for sales. Yeah, it's a little depressing how we won, but you guys know. How do I put this? The whole party. Did you say the whole the whole party situation where they're recording your parties and sending it to Sony or something? Yeah, you can record parties, send it to Sony, and there's even more ban rules if you would like to go into that. We'll just do that next month, or I Nick, you want to do this weekly? We'll, we'll just, nah, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll see how this stuff develops. And see yeah, we'll see how this see does. How we'll see how this does. So anyway, um, let's get right into a few comedic things. So we're gonna talk about how Jim Carrey did the best Joe Biden I've ever seen. Holy crap! I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point this out real quick. This is for pure comedic pop purposes. I'm not doing this to be political. Oh no, like SNL did it, Saturday Night Live, and they're very liberal, Max. They're very liberal. Okay. So do we want to talk about Rogue Company? Uh, actually, I'd love to. I would love to go in there. All right, you're the pro at it, so let's go. That's fair. Okay, so uh, another gaming segment. Uh, Rogue Company, the new game, has been taking basically this, the uh, whole thing right now. It's not trend. It's I think it's been trending a little bit, but it's not like a main trending game. Yeah. Uh, this is if you look back two years, I want to mention that this is a lot like how they built up Fortnite. They paid a lot of creators to play the game, and then it blowed up. I think Rogue Company will blow up a little bit, but I, it's not going to get nearly as big as Fortnite is because it's a good game and it's fun. But there was a lot more creativity and different things you could do in Fortnite, or at least there's a lot more you can do now. For example, Rogue Company is currently restricted to extraction, uh, ex uh, strikeout, and uh, demolition. Uh, there's practice modes of that, and there's like a shooting range where you can practice with different characters, which is nice. But I don't see the game blowing up as it did with Fortnite. It's a fun game, though. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. If you want to see us play it, uh, we're we gonna be streaming soon, or no? Is that gonna happen? Oh, we probably will. Yeah, we'll probably stream it. Yeah, we'll stream it. Yeah, we'll probably stream it. So uh, check out our Twitches, I guess. Follow. Uh, yeah, follow we'll, up, we'll probably check out Twitch. Yeah, do whatever you want. I don't care. Drama? Can we go to drama? Yeah or no? Oh, may I also add on to uh, gaming? 
That Cold War is only limited to three games. You got VIP, then you got this old capture thing and kill people, and then you got Dirty Bomb. But it's a beta, and it'll be out by November 13th. And we are not sponsored by any of the companies. We are broke, yeah, no and we too. live on the streets, and we are poor people. Hey, wait. Don't tell them we live in the streets. We don't. We live in a cargo van. Okay. Jeez. No, I live in the That's cargo van. Up. You live in a freaking Porsche. Uh, I live on the hood of the cargo van. No, you live in a Porsche. Let's be honest here. To be fair, if I lived in a Porsche, I'd probably be more uncomfortable than you did, because there's, like, no room in a Porsche. Well, the, why, why do you think I don't want to get the two-door car? I mean, get a two-door car well, with then, more than two you, seats. Then you live in a Camaro. Shut up. You're like, Aiden, why do you want a car with two do four doors? No, I just said specifically, why do you want a car with four doors? So do you want to tell them what car you want to get? You want to tell them what car you want to get? I'm going to be very, very, very serious about what car I want. What car do you what do you car do you want? You wanna tell the listeners or no? I want a Toyota Camry. He wants a Toyota Camry. Or a Honda Civic RG6. Or something. Honda so, Civic's nice. I, I don't Honda I don't Civic Sport, Honda whatever Civic. it's called. Ah, I like Honda Civic. But 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 Honda Civic's good. But for real, I want a Chevy Malibu, so then I can be stuck on the side of the road and I can't spend money in the own gas. If I'm broke down on the side of the road. That's true, you'll never spend money on yeah, gas. Yeah. If you can't even move. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Man, th Yo, this is probably how David Dobrik felt when he made a podcast. Yo, Honda Civic is a fast car, bro. Oh yeah, they really are. Zero to sixty in like eight seconds. That's fast. Like, it seems slow. That's not bad at all. Kind of crazy. Do we... Should I tell them about my uh, trip of being vegan for a few days? Oh, Jesus, mother. Okay, sure. Go for it. So, I went up to Colorado during the summer to meet my cousin, who is probably going to share her it. friends about this, Don't this part. Like that. She's going to share... My cousin, she's gonna share this podcast with her friends. That's why I'm saying her name is. Shut the f up! No one cares. Know your f place, trash. I really hate this editor. <laughs> You're the editor. Yeah, I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a good pickup line? Uh, yeah. Are you my rope? Because I want you to hug me all day around my neck. Oh, God. <laughs> you, want, you want to hear any better pickup lines? <laughs> We're getting, let's get some dark humor in here. Let's get it up. Oh, my, mine's not dark humor. Mine's just a good pickup line. Oh, okay, okay. You want, you want to hear it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, sorry it took so long for me to talk to you. I was thinking what I should make you for breakfast in the morning. What? That's a good one. Yeah, that's why I'm silent. Alright, 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 alright. So here, what's... He's not gonna have an applause this morning, that's stupid. No, no, oh yeah, yeah, what's having an applause? Yo, editor! Add an applause! Alright, there we go. That's... That's what I thought, you stupid piece of crap. If you didn't have an applause, I would shank you. I would cut out your spleen and carve a Bible verse on it, and then put it right back in you. Alright, Max. Okay, whatever. Next, 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 Max. Daniel, next, Daniel. Max, Max, Max. We're gonna talk about this. About what? Look oh, in the cool. chat. Oh, Christ. Yes, you ready? Let's listen to it. So I'm opening SoundCloud? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm listening. Opening play? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm listening to it currently. I'm at five seconds. All right, I'm at seven. Six. Yeah, I'm I'm like a second or two ahead of you. Nah. Just be silent for this. Mute up, mute up. I'm too lazy to not talk. Why is this sound so depressing? Now you out here hanging with somebody new. 
fighting this, it wasn't easy Heartbroken, got me out here feeling queasy Used to stare into your eyes, they were always dreamy Ever since you left, got me feeling uneasy I just skipped a like, part of the song That's Alright, just pause it, just like, pause it, just pause it no, I, I got That is a little Coop depressing. and he'll be joining us next week on the show Slacker Days Off Lil Coop is gonna be the first guest Sebby wants to be a guest. Should we, should we have him on later? Not right now. Yeah, he's actually going to be one of the artists for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, shout out to Sebby. I'm not, uh, I don't know if we're putting a link for his channel or something. I don't know if we, it him. will be on the YouTube video, but I don't know if we can do it on the podcast because this is our first yeah, time do doing this. Yeah, I'm Definitely. actually putting this like on Spotify and crap and like app iOS podcast. Yeah. What's it called? Um, Sebi, Sebi is going to be our editor, he, or not editor, uh, artist thingy, whatever we're calling him. Yeah, so thumbnail artist, and um, he'll be making this whole thing. Should I just upload this to yeah. my channel, like as a separate playlist? I don't care. Yeah, you could do that to start, you could say this is our podcast, get some views on it, and then move it and over. And then you could have a different... podcast eventually. I could have a podcast. I don't know what to name it though. I was gonna name it Void, and then I was gonna name it Irrelevant, but everything's taken! Oh, cool. So let's talk about the um, election right now. Okay. Th this is your segment topic. I'll just respond. I'm not oh, gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. It. It, basically, we, we, me and uh, Slacker have our own strengths about the podcast. I know, like, the combat sports, currently what's going on, and, like, drama. He knows, like, news and stuff like that. He's yeah, definitely yeah. the smarter out of the group, but, you know, I think I'm funnier. I don't know. You guys um, can decide that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Q for news. Q for news. Um, actually, yeah, what, what was it called? Group once kidnap. Kid, who's go kidnapped? from there? So they can eat at restaurant. Oh jeez, it's a little, it's a little extreme. I mean, why would you do that just for ravioli? Come on. Like, you heard about like, this? All right, all right, all right, all right. I got this. Okay. Michigan law enforcement on alert in response to a plan to target and kill police. Oh wait, what? Oh Jesus! I don't think that's it. <laughs> that's a little uh, that's crazy. It. It is Michigan. They're so basically they're just plotting to kidnap the governor and kidnap her, oh just so then they can just eat at a fast food restaurant. Yeah, kidnapping is not very good. Though. Yeah, like, I, I don't care what party you in. It's bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. No, that's a big thing. I wanna, I wanna make that statement. I think this stands for both me and Slacker. I don't care what your political views are. Uh, I don't care what you think. I don't care if you think you're a helicopter. If you do, good for you. But it's crazy stuff. If you think doing crazy stuff is okay, that's no bad. Like kidnapping is wrong. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you think. I don't care if you're kidnapping um, anyone, even someone you don't like. It's still not a good thing. Yeah, true that. True that. True that. Yeah. Should we talk like, about how Universal has um, announced the new roller coaster? That's your segment, my man. I don't All know right. About that. So Universal announced the new coaster. It's gonna be called the Velocicoaster. coaster it's gonna be just That's like amazing. hagrid's but taller and it might go upside down from the simulations that we have seen it is fast our predictions are it shall be as faster than hagrid's at least and our predictions will that the line will be around the park like hagrid's well oh, crap so my my tip here is um Get annual passes the second you can because they might sell out since people are like, you know, I want to go. Oh, Slacker, you know, certain people are broke over here and it's not really in the papers to get an annual pass. So what, what else can they do? Well, you can go ha have some fun at Andretti's. That's fair. Andretti's actually really fun. Yeah, I love That's Andretti's, fun. man. I love that. Andretti's. Yeah, yeah. Not sponsored once again. Not sponsored. Yeah, not sponsored, not sponsored. Uh, is that it for that segment? Um, do you want to talk about how masks are, like, getting annoying for us? That's fair. Okay, I want to mention something before we get into, like, the big mask situation. This is about masks, but before you get into your big thing. I currently sleep, uh, let's talk about a little bit of our lives. much been affected about COVID. Me, I have been taking online school. I've been working from home, 
I haven't really gone out in a while. I'm getting really lonely. Every time I go outside, my skin starts to burn because I haven't been outside, I've seen sunlight, been exposed in like four years or a couple months. I go outside, I hiss, it burns. Here, but let me. I let me. Here, I'm gonna put on a mask, alright? Okay, he's gonna put a mask there, on. Yeah. So, here's my mask. Yeah, mask. I and I can't now. breathe. <laughs> yeah, you can't breathe. Oh yeah, man. Help. Help. Yeah, like help. help. I can't breathe. <laughs> like, bro, this girl, like, I took off my mask to take a sip of water. And she's like, hey, can you please put it on your mask? And I just stared at her and I was like, what? I, I'm 20 feet away from you. Yeah, if, you, if you're six feet apart. We're outside. Yeah, if you're like 10 feet away from the person, I think it's, I think you're allowed to take off your mask, but you just can't like walk. If you're and standing then, still, bruh, you maintain subscriptions. Bruh, she asked uh, for my name, so then she could write it down and like, and get me in trouble. I'm like, uh, what are you gonna do? Give me two demerits for not wearing a mask? Oh, that's BS, bro. Yeah, I th I don't think people would care. Like, bro, when I put on I the want, mask, I, I get migraines a lot more often. And I can't take oh, my yeah. migraines. I get I sick. Get yeah. All right. Do we want to okay. talk about? Yeah, my on mask real quick. Oh yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna shake my voice back. I just want to point out how much of a pain it really is. I went to school for one day so far this year to take a test. This test was four hours long that I wore a mask. And it was torture. My throat was killing me. I had allergies. You can't breathe in the thing. I believe that's the word chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, you. Can't, you can't breathe in this thing. And I'm sitting there and I'm dying because I'm sweating because I got a jacket on. And I'm sitting still in a, in a classroom because I'm waiting for everyone to finish the freaking test thing. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. I'm literally sweating. And then I think in the back of my head, Aiden has to do this every day. I probably seem like the biggest <laughs> because Aiden does this every day. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. I feel like the biggest. I look like the biggest cat because Aiden has to do this every day. Like, I, I mean, I can, man. I like. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yo, Max, what's Did we talk about the car yet? Uh, you want to talk about that next week? How about we just yeah, have a Cars episode when we eventually get Michael? Yeah, 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 that's fair. Yeah. We get so you wanna, guess what's that in this with a few dark humor jokes. Oh, God. Wait, 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 we have to go to the drama segment first. Big drama. Yeah, go, go, go. We got, we got Tim okay, right. This is a segment of drama. This is just some celebrity news. This is referring to Charlie D'Amelio and Dixie D'Amelio. This is their big controversy about them cheating. Uh, to be 100% fair and honest, in my personal opinion, they did the trivia thing with Mr. Beast. They're teenagers, so I wouldn't get mad at them for their parents helping them. And they caught one clip of their mom looking like at the side and someone giving her the answer. But I'm going to guess that since that is the only time it was caught, I believe. If not, you can correct me. But I'm pretty sure that's the only time that they did that. So I'm guessing someone on the sidelines helped out. All right, all right. But I wouldn't see them as completely cheating. Max. Like, I mean, come on. Max. Kids. Okay, is that good? So, um, let's get, let's get all right, idea. we got one more. I, I just had to say a joke. I just read that someone in London gets stabbed every 52 seconds. Poor guy. What? What? Yeah, someone got stabbed in London every 52 seconds. That's one Are poor guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good day, and we'll see you next week that, on Slacker's wait, wait, wait. Day Off. That's it. Bye, guys. Bye.